everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for tech tutorials and software walkthroughs made simple. In today's video, we are diving into Clinico, the powerful and easy-to-use practice management software designed for healthcare professionals. So whether you're a solo practitioner, part of a clinic, or managing multiple practitioners, Clinico helps you handle appointments, patient records, invoices and more all in one place so let's begin by going to the official website of clinical on the top corner you have the option to log in using your credentials but of course we all know that the better option is to click the get started from here all you have to do is provide all the information needed and click the continue button if you do that you will be forwarded to the main home page that offers a welcome message you just have to provide your information here and then you should be able to access the dashboard without any problem. And as you may notice that the interface is very easy to look at. It offers a clean and intuitive feel. We have been using the clinical for quite some time. And let me tell you, this platform is very convenient. In the left side panel of our dashboard, we have all the tools and features that we are going to explore. And of course, we have the dashboard right so within the dashboard it's going to be your main overview page it gives like a quick summary of your day or week but this is a newly created account so we don't have anything in place but if you do you will have like a point uh, upcoming appointments outstanding invoices maybe if you have like a recent patient activity alerts or reminders so it helps clinicians and admin staff to stay on top of their schedule and tasks and as you may notice that there is like a red button here that says new message if you click on it for example if you wanted to create a subject and a message let's do that for example how to use clinical In this instance i'm gonna copy that and put the message and click the post message so we have that already here and then the next is going to be the appointment wherein you can manage all your bookings and scheduling wherein for example we are around um, july 20th let's click that all right or maybe um, we are heading to uh, july 30th i am going to create a first appointment how to do that it's very simple all right so there's going to be one activity here wherein you can put in your um, type is going to be first appointment stand let's say this is going to be our first appointment right if you want to start searching for your patient you can do that or create a new patient let's do that we have say um clinical all right so preferred first name is going to be um this one you can put in the date uh date of birth maybe um let's say um 2001 so we have the uh, privacy policy if you want to include all of the information for example um, no response accepted marketing is going to be around uh, working with uh, sms and email appointment notes contact information if you want have that and click the uh you can put in a note and the repeat if it's if it, if this appointment is going to be a recurring appointment you can do with that so i'm going to click the create appointment and once you've done that you can set uh ma you can manage multiple practitioners calendars here all right not only yours you can use and drag and drop to reschedule if you want which is kind of like ideal for receptionist and practitioners who that handles day-to-day -day scheduling with ease now how about the patient the patient is earlier we have had uh, an, uh, a patient but this is where you store all your patient profiles that means you can add and manage patient details like we have done earlier name contact medical history if you have that add a treatment notes and appointment history you can also upload um, documents or files but you can also set reminders for for example of allergies or missed payments and obviously the invoices is where you handle any billing and finance if you want to add an invoice it's very easy okay let's say choose a patient all right issue two and then click the notes right here put in the uh, quantity for example price is 69 discount is 69 quantity is let's say in this instance 
So we have that already. And then all I have to do is click the create an invoice. All right. So with this, you can apply discounts if you want, taxes, or maybe if you have like insurance codes. You can also track outstanding payments here in the invoice department. All right. So after that is going to be the payments. Payments is one of the most um, important part of clinical because this is where you record and manage patient payments. You can accept full or partial payments, for example, um, six, let's say in this instance, all of it. All right. So it's up to you. And then put in the payment total. We're going to put in the notes. And then I want you to click the save payment so that you would have an option to always view the payment history per patient or click one. And then the products refers to the section where you can manage inventory and items sold such as if you have like a supplement right here. Okay. Put in the uh, serial name, supplier, right? Um, say for example, uh, the price, cost price, and a lot more stock level and then you can set everything here uh, pricing stock levels and link products to invoices during checkout and obviously if you go to the expenses you can track your clinics spending in this section if you want to add an expense it's very easy vendor category put in the um, total expense amount if you have a specific um tax you can do that here you can manage your discount as well and then click the create expense wherein you can monitor your cash flow and profitability using this. Now the contacts is where you store and manage non-patient contacts, such as if you have like a referring physician or maybe supplier, you can do that here. All right, you can put in the notes and then obviously the um, communications is where you set the messages uh, to all your appointment reminders, follow-up emails, SMS confirmations, or even cancellations. You can check communication logs per patient or across their systems, okay? So basically, you can choose from SMS or an email via the channel. And then you can put in the any message history or summary that you can do it here. Okay, so it's a very easy thing to use. Now, the reports is where it gives you the detailed insights of your appointments, all right? With this, all the details, for example, uh, per month, revenue, practitioner performance, marketing, and a lot more. So you have all that um, options right off the bat, which is kind of really great for evaluating clinic performance, generating business reports, and making data-driven decisions. Now, if you feel that Clinico is going to be the um, tool that answers your business needs, I want you to click the um, subscription uh, section because as, as of the moment, we are using the... Uh, free trial and if you wanted to up upgrade you have the um team team plan which is going to be like 95 dollars per month all right and then all that to do is put in your credit card account and you'd be able to explore and unlock all of the hidden features and tools here in clinical and with that being said and that wraps up our walkthrough on how to use clinical so if you're looking for a user-friendly platform with powerful features tailored for private practices, Clinical is definitely worth considering. It's especially great for therapists, psychologists, and allied health professionals. But don't just take my word for it, okay? So try their free trial and see if it fits your workflow. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will see you again in the next video.